what yeah. happened the time you get set up you went to a house and there was 12 people waiting for you what happened is i tacked somebody in one of the raves and like you say i've had quite a few people i've had another i've had a few try to shoot me when i've got away you know uh and goes to this house ormsby bank tommy harrison's friend of mine he says hey can you come and see me but little did i know they had handguns and shotguns to their heads and there was about 12 of them in the house so i goes to the house knocked on the door lad come to the door he said you brian i said yeah he said oh i'm here mate as i come in i've got it in the head here i've got the, like my legs hanging off here there's the scars on me i've got machetes all over me stabbed in the back stabbed stabbed in the front but i was fighting for my life so people said we are scared fucking course i was scared I, I was going they were trying to kill me and i got told off a man called phil berryman they wanted to kill me and he had a boat and they were going to put me on the boat and put me out to sea and dump me in the sea so they all come together you know the story but the people who attacked me when they were all big big lads big 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 hitters not like little fucking idiots the big big time uh, gangsters um i threw them all over there was a couple of big heavyweight boxers there um i dropped a few of them anyway i fell on the floor and they started hitting me with machetes and chopped me up and but they battered me with baseball bats. Have you ever seen a film Casino when the yeah, beat? Yeah, was, the end and, yeah, and the but, but, yeah, that exact scene as that. Never brought one bone in my body because I was that big. It was like it cushioned it. So, but the thought, the, the thought was going to lose my leg. Um, the, the doctor, she was only twenty-seven. I fell in love with her. She was beautiful. She was American, and she said we might have to amputate your leg. From I thought, well, you might as well just put me under. I said, yeah. So she she, she saved my leg, but. Uh, yeah, that was the scariest stitch. But the closest I come to death because I lost three pints of blood and had 176 stitches. But I thought, fuck yous. And when they, when they were doing me, I was on the floor. I said, you better fucking hide because I'm coming for every fucking one of yous. Mm -hmm. And I still tell them now to this day, you know. And five of them were in that house have died, been killed. And the other ones have been set about and been done in. So mm -hmm. I've had my revenge type of thing. So. so see that in your life where you're kind of, that was you can see where the other flip of the coin that you do that to people so when it happens to you do you feel anger or do you just accept it to go no, well that's what part, i do parcel of what, yeah. what happens at the end of the day the police come and they want me to make statements i wouldn't make a statement i said all we need is a blood sample nobody will know i said i'll fucking know and you'll know i said i, I don't do my statements so they were saying oh we'll, we'll give you a hundred grand because these were big time gangsters you know really big and they were they were up for attempted murder obviously because they hit me on the head with hammers and and put guns to my head and I said, listen, if you if you want uh, what happened is the lad who got he got remanded and a couple ended up being friends with the people because it was a bit like you saying to me, Brian, I've been jumped by 20 lads. What it was, I had a fight with him and I beat him and I broke his jaw in six places. And he said I jumped him with a load of lads and what happened? I allegedly went into a nightclub. We're supposed to have went in with Uzis and machine guns and handguns and all sorts, about 80 people. Got ball cutters up the back door, come in, they had the fight with this professional heavyweight boxer, I beat him. And he told a lot of bullshit saying I jumped him alone. And so they've done tit for tat. So I didn't really was bothered about them. So I went and seen the lad who was when they come out in the house, Tommy Harrison's, they were seen by undercut uh, sorry, off duty policemen and they took the registration and anyway they got caught on the A nine and they got remanded. So they're on remand for attempted murder of me. But I went to court and said, We're not with me. I said, They're my mates. He said, Well, how come your blood's in there? I said, not my, how can you prove it's my blood? Anyway, they said, well, we can make you give a sample. I said, well, I'll tell you how the blood's in there. I was at his house. I was boxing with him. We were doing a bit of sparring. He bust my nose. I tell the blood's in his jeep. So my statement got them off. So they come down to kill me. and ended up going to court and getting them off. And that wasn't through fear. It's just the respect I've got.